Well, only nine more days until the beginning of spring and things are beginning to get better for us. But for the official date, that will be on March the 20th at 6:45 PM. So about a week and a half left for us and we'll officially see that the season will be here. But hey, as we look outside right now, Conditions have been nice for us. Currently seeing a little weak feature starting to push its way closer to the region. Uh, some moisture associated with that, but it looks like we are going to be dry as we head into the evening for us. Maybe a few clouds, but it will be primarily clear as we head into the evening as this does work its way through. But as we take a closer look, mostly clear conditions across the entire Upper Peninsula and Things have been just slightly cooler for us today as we do have a wind coming out of the northwest as opposed to the southwest that we have been seeing and that is what's brought us a little closer to the lower 40s and the upper 30s. Right now here in Marquette, we are at 39 degrees. North northeast winds at 15 miles per hour, so getting that wind off of Lake Superior, but still mostly sunny. Here's your look at your current temperatures as we are at 39 in Marquette and farther to the south away from the shorelines of Lake Superior, things are a little warmer as you'll see upper 40s in Florence and in Crystal Falls and Menominee, upper 30s in Ironwood at 39 degrees, 37 in Ontonagon, and at 37 also in Houghton. For us off to the east, upper 30s in Munising, Manistique also at 39 degrees, lower 50s in Escanaba, and at 39 here for us in Ishpeming. So uh, the farther away you can get from Lake Superior, the better things are for you in terms of your air conditions as we are seeing those 40s and even the lower 50s. But here's a look at your current winds coming in from the north at 16 in Houghton, 24 breezy down in Iron Mountain while at 17 in Escanaba. And for us in Marquette, we are seeing that northerly wind for us. But across the entire state, we're starting to notice that temperatures are cooler than yesterday as well. And not the widespread 50s like we saw yesterday. 42 degrees in Gaylord at 44 in Houghton Lake. And for us in Iron Mountain, yes, we are at 48 degrees. But wind chills, not that much of a factor. Still seeing pleasant conditions and those numbers are above average for this time of the year. For tonight though, with that cooler air mass in place, that is going to create some chilly conditions for us. A little cooler than what we've been experiencing over the past couple of nights as temps drop closer to the lower 20s and maybe even a few of us back into the upper teens. High pressure keeps us sunny though throughout most of the day on Thursday. Maybe a few more clouds as we head closer to the evening hours and then we'll see that increase in cloud coverage heading into Friday with another disturbance that will be pushing in very weak and limited in moisture, but it could provide maybe a slight chance of rain by Friday evening going into Friday night before that changes over to a, maybe a mixture of rain and snow going into Saturday. But here's a look at our setup. We do have high pressure just to our south, keeping most of the region very clear and also allowing that milder air to work its way back into the region as we'll see more of that south easterly flow by tomorrow. So not going to be quite as warm as what we saw earlier this week, but it, it will continue to gradually build as we get closer to Friday, but it will be another quiet day for us across the region for us on Thursday. And for your future cast model, here's what we're noticing throughout the night, seeing mostly clear conditions, a streak of clouds from here to there. And then we'll see that these clouds push on through as well. Uh, noticing mostly a mix of clouds and sun as we head throughout Thursday. And then an increase in our clouds as we go into Friday as that system does start to sag its way southward. And that's what's going to bring us a very small chance of maybe rain by Friday evening. And then chances pick up to maybe around 20 to 30 percent heading into Friday night and early Saturday morning. But uh, other than that, tonight quiet 21 degrees, some scattered clouds, winds calming for us. But as we head into Thursday, here's a look at your forecast. Mix of sun and clouds, southeast winds at 5 to 10. So we're starting to see the wind come off of Lake Michigan now. And look at temperatures much warmer as you get farther away at 51 degrees in Ontonagon. 43 in Lawson at 47 in Crystal Falls, but closer to Lake Michigan, there goes the influence of the body of water. 40 degrees in Escanaba and at 40 in, es in Manistique, while at 42 in Munising and in the lower 40s for us also in Marquette. Your bus stop forecast, we'll see temps bottom out around 21 degrees tomorrow morning, so uh, it's going to be a little cooler, so have that jacket ready for the kids, and they might need it throughout the entire day on Thursday with temps only warming into the lower 40s. Friday, back in the 50s, as we'll see the clouds increase and then maybe seeing that chance of rain and snow heading into Friday night, early Saturday morning before cool air arrives for Saturday.